Welcome to another RD Works Learning Lab. Today is going to be an absolute doddle in relation to what we've been tackling recently. Um, here we are with a good old China Blue machine and um, after almost four years it's let me down. I thought I'd be prolonging the life of this unit by um, putting a little screen protector on it. It's done a fantastic job. The keyboard is like new. But when we turn the machine on, we have absolutely nothing on the screen. We have a dead screen. A quick look around the uh, big WWW and there's all sorts of ideas about what you could do to fix this problem. But the first thing you have to do is to get up inside there and remove a couple of little clamps that are clamping the unit into the frame. You should just turn the machine off. of the unit comes up but because it's a snug fit in the hole it's difficult to get out. There are some little tongues underneath here which are they slide in easily but they don't come out easily so what we've got to do is to find a way of pressing them out the way so that we can get this case out. There is a rear cover on here, which I've unscrewed. So I was told that, you know, if we remove this plug here, for example, I mean, this plug here and that connection there, if you clean them up and put it back together, the chances are it will work. Well, there we go. We'll put it back together. Screen on. Dead. So recommended fix number one didn't work. Maybe it's this one. This connector here is nothing to do with the actual display itself. This is all to do with the keyboard. The keyboard on the front here are, is just the buttons. You can get a replacement film, which I believe is nothing more than a self-adhesive film that sticks on the front here. And that's what this here is. It comes through the front and plugs in. So that will enable you to very quickly replace your keypad if ever these buttons do get damaged. It's not very expensive, I think it's only about 10 or 12 pounds, something like that. Whereas this actual display panel is more like about 70 pounds or 75 dollars I think it is. In the post today we have a replacement unit. What we're going to do is quickly have a look at replacing it. So the one thing they don't give you are these clips. So don't lose these clips. Well it was very fiddly to get that plug out of there because you've got to find this little catch on the end of the plug to lift it up and pull it out. And we just slip the new one in. Then it should just be a matter of plugging that into the bottom of the controller. If you can see what you're doing. So let's turn power on and see if it's as simple as that. Aha! We have a machine again. Now there is a protective film on here. At least one. My other one had two protective films on it. No, this one's only got one. I was fooled the last time because I had one protective film which I removed and then after a while it started to bubble up again and I thought, hmm, that's bad news, that's when I made this. So this one goes in the bin. It's been without a display for about two weeks but I've had to use the machine in the meantime. Yeah, the buttons were all working so it was a matter of guessing what was happening. Up to a point. Let me show you something because I have never used this part of RD Works before until I've been forced to by lack of a display. I always knew that there was uh, something at the top here called test and when you bring up the test tab you've got the facility to control the machine from the PC. So provided you have your machine connected via the USB, um, for example here I can say current position and it will tell me 
the, the current position of my head. Here I've got an offset millimetres so I can in fact set that to, well I've got it set to 10 millimetres at the moment which means when I press Y plus the machine moves by 10 millimetres in Y plus. And similarly in X. Now I can also send it to the home position. Which basically is a reset. Which is now done. And it stays there and if I ask for the current position tells me it's X and Y zero. Then I can get here the possibility if I tick this one it allows me to move a certain position from the origin. So for example if I want to move 150 millimeters in X because I am at the origin already so I can set the machine where I want I can then do 150 in Y And now the head has moved to 150, 150. And here it is, 150, 150. Okay, then we've got Z and U across the bottom there, which most people won't need to use. Right. I can click here, instead of this move from origin, if I click continuous moving, then it just allows me to move with the buttons normally. So although I haven't got all the functions of the ZU button, we're not completely without control of the machine. And I've been using the machine like this for the past couple of weeks. So now I can get back to using it properly. Well, I did say this session was going to be short and sweet. So that's the bit. That's short. I'm sweet. Um, I'll see you in the next session. Bye for now.